Hi, the purpose of this recording is to show you that 1 plus 1 over n raised to the power n is bounded above. To give you some background information, have a sense of how this number behaves. When n equal to 1, 1 plus 1 over 1 raised to the power 1 is 2. When n equal to 2, 1 plus 1 over 2, power 2 is 2.25. When, when n equal to 3, 1 plus 1 over 3 raised to the power 3 is 2.3703. When n equal to 4, 1 plus 1 quarter raised to the power 4 is 2.4414. Now, even when n equal to 1000, you'll find that this is equal to 2.7169. And if, what happens if n equal to infinity? What will happen to this 1 plus 1 over n power n? Now, you can explore this number by using a calculator. I call out my calculator now and I use a table. And I enter the function 1 plus 1 over x and then close it raise the power x. And I say, let's say, start from uh, 1000 to 1005. Okay, okay, 1005. And then a step of one, then you see a table that this behave that the number like two point one seven six nine one point two seven one six nine two probably around that value. Therefore, the number in the end will not be very very big. All right, most likely this number you can see here maybe less than three, but let me show you the proof that why this number is less than three. Now the key step in this case is divided into four first key step there. First, I'm going to use a binomial expansion to show you that 1 plus 1 over n with power n is equal to this expression. This is by the binomial expansion. Then second step, I'm going to show you that each term is less than 1 over k factorial. And third step, I'm going to show that each term is less than 1 over k factorial is also less than 2 power 1 over 2 power k minus 1. And finally, we're going to find that the sum of each this term will be less than 2. Now, let's continue to show you the first step. Now, binomial expansion say that a plus b raised to the power n is equal to a power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1 times b plus nc2 a power n minus 2 times b squared and so on. And the k term is nck a power n minus k times bk all the way to b power n. So, if you put a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 over n, you are going to get 1, a is 1 now, nc1, b is 1 over n, plus nc2, 1 over n square, nc3, 1 over n cube, and so on, nck, 1 over n power k, and last term will be n c k n 1 over n power n. All together, they are n plus 1 term. All right? So all together, you'll find that the number of term is n plus 1. Let's examine term by term. So we are going to call this, the, I'm going to call this the first term. This is called the second term, this is called the third term, this is called the fourth term, and so on, right? Let's look at them term by term and examine what are the value of each term. So, term by term analysis now. First of all, the first term is 1, first term is 1, right? So, that thing to, to say about that, we all very clearly understood. Second term nc1, 1 over n power 1. Right, second term is nc1, 1 over n power 1. And this is equal to n over 1 times 1 over n, which is 1. Okay, nc1 is n over 1. How about third term? Third term, you'll find that is nc2 1 over n squared, right? 
So nc2 1 over n squared. Now what is nc2? nc2 is equal to n times n minus 1 over 1 times 2. And then multiply by n squared. So you notice that this is equal to 1 over 2 factorial n over n minus 1 divided by n squared. We know that this is less than 1 over 2 factorial n over n times n minus 1 over n, n right? And sure enough, n over n is less is 1, n minus 1 over n is less than 1. This is 1 over less than 1 over 2 factorial. And this is less than or equal to 1 factorial as well. First term is 1. Now how about the fourth term? Fourth term. Fourth term is nc3, 1 over n power 3. What is nc3 then? nc3 is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. There are three terms on top. And the bottom here is 1 times 2 times 3. And 1 over n power 3. Now using this, 1 times 2 times 3 is 3 factorial. And you break up this thing as n over n times n minus 1 over n times n minus 2 over n. Each of them, n over n, n minus 1 over n, n minus 2 over n. Each of them is less than 1. So that's then. This whole thing is less than 1 over 3 factorial times 1 times 1 times 1, which is less than 1 over 3 factorial. Okay, just uh, so in general, the, the k term is what? The k term, you follow this argument, nck 1 over n power k will be less than 1 over k factorial by the same argument, similar argument. Now, incidentally, you may it's good to refresh about your memory about NCR. What is actually NCR here? For example, people ask you, let's say, 7C4, what is that equal to? Uh, instead of using calculator, you know 7C4 is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4, 4 times on top, and 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, 4 times below. And this is how you find 7C4, and this is how I do NC1, NC2, NC3, NC4, and so on. So, using the term-by-term -term analysis, I managed to show that the first term is 1, second term is less than 1 factorial, third term is less than 1 over 2 factorial, okay, first term is less than 1 over 1 factorial as well, second term is less than 1 over 2 factorial, so let me highlight here, first, ter sec first term is 1, second term is less than 1 over 1 factorial. Third term is less than 1 over 2 factorial. Fourth term is less than 1 over 3 factorial and so on. And the k term is less than 1 over k factorial. Therefore, the binomial expansion for this thing, right? So this is going to be less than 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial for the second term. Third term is 1 over 2 factorial. Fourth term is 1 over 3 factorial, and fifth term is 1 over 4 factorial, and so on until the last term we get 1 over 